Hello community, I hope you are doing good in this discussion. We will see how to add drag and drop features in the Kanban view. And in case you missed previous discussion about how to create a Kanban view, please check link is given in the description. If you want to learn more about Odoo, you can visit the Weblands channel. Under the home screen, you can see Odoo 1718 development tutorial. Right now, we are working on this playlist. If you are a beginner and want to learn from the beginning, you can visit this playlist because this is the main playlist and those are the topic wise sub playlist available all right let's back to our main topic guys if you didn't subscribe this channel please subscribe it will help me a lot plus you will get the latest notification about the upcoming sessions so so far we have created one more kanban view right so here based on the status right the students visible like that way for example let's say if i will search open this crm right so you can see these are the stages new qualified proposition and one right i can directly easily drag and drop like this way so how can i do this part right we will see in this discussion so for that in if you already know about the student model which we already created so far right so over there we don't have that specific stages related field right so for that I'm trying to add here stage or let's say status feeds selection right here let's say draft then after let's say in progress finish okay like this by default it's a draft okay here uh, we can add this one in the view part in the list view first right after that we have to add here in this header part start we can use here status bar right and that's it. here uh, in this sorry not here oh, sorry like this after that we can go to here in the Kanban view so before that let's upgrade the module all right And I'm trying to upgrade this module. Let's see the result first. All right, everything is successfully implemented. So let's go to here in the student profile. Let me refresh the screen. And now you can see the status, right? Here you can see it's a draft state. Now here you can see multiple display, multiple cards display for the student, right? Now here, I want to add one more thing so for that here uh, we have to use one more attribute which is default group by right and which is the stat oh, sorry status like this so this field we have to use here and compulsory we have to add here under this template so basically it won't be this so basically it won't be display anywhere in the card okay so that's it and after we have to upgrade the module now let's say refresh the screen okay now you can see it's available all the 14 records under the draft the question is how i can see the rest two right in progress and the finish that i can't see here and one more thing is if you see here this is not editable right as of now so let me add this option in the form view not like this one or oh, let's say this one and we can add here somehow without widget okay what is widget we will see in our upcoming session don't worry so this is the specific layout we can render the different ways we can display in the front end side so let me refresh the screen 
you can see it dropped right let me post this one to the in progress and now let's switch to here and now you can see i can see only in progress once this any of the record is available here but what about the finish i can't see here right and user cannot also drag and drop to the finish so i can go to here like this way i can see okay in progress is zero but let's say once i will refresh the screen right here like this then boom that status is also gone right so by default Odoo provides one more feature in the field level and we need to also extend one more method okay so for that we can use here here we can add group underscore expand okay and simple here we can use read group page ids right so this one we can so basically this is the attribute of the field level right we you, you can also use in the relational field of the many to one field or any of the field here you can use like this after that we have to copy this one so make sure this api is the model right and simple we can use here the def here it supports few parameters right let's say stages domain like this we don't need to call the super method but instead we can do one thing okay so let's say self dot underscore fields here we have to mention this name okay and once we use here selection so what happened is it will automatically return this list of tuple now we need to always get the key right so for that we can use here the for loop right for key let me add here the underscore in and simple i can use here the key that's it and after let me just restart the service okay let me refresh the screen and now you can see see in progress the finish is available here so let's say user can easily drag and drop and once you will refresh the screen right so it won't be also invisible here correct and this plus sign right you can also add some records here for the student not this is not about the stages you can create here right it is the creation of the student right so you can fold you can also fold it like this way right so like this way you can drag and drop something like this way i hope you understood about this topic if you still have any doubt related to this topic please comment below and see you in our next session